Hey folks, this is Vince with Ads Gaming Addiction, and once again, we're going to play Empires of the Undergrowth. A few of you had requested that I do another live stream, so here I am. I'll wait for you guys to start showing up. Hi, Amethyst and Sergeant Slaughter. How are you? Hi, William. Hi, Faith. How are you? Before we get going, it's worth noting that the game is still in early access, so everything that you're about to see here is subject to change. For those of you not familiar with the game. Hi, Ethan. Hi, Archie. Hi, Vincent. So, which, uh, what level did you want to see me play? Do you have one in particular? Looks like they redid this slightly. This is a lot more easier to read now. That's really nice. They must have patched this. Hi, Rebecca. How are you? Hi, Michael. All right, so what level do you want to see? 1-1, one, 1-2, one, one, two, two, one, or 2-2? Two, 1-1 two. One, one is New Home, 1-2 is Subjugation, 2-1 is Rising Tide, and 2-2 two, two is Queen of the Hill. All right, so you, one of them, one of you said beach. I think that's rising tide. I don't remember. We've got two one two one two 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 two. So we've got like a tie going on here. Two one, yeah. So two for two one and two for two two. I think. Hi nitro. We can do both. How about we do two one then we'll do two two. All right, we'll start with rising tide. I'll put it on medium, I guess. And I like the rapid fire ones personally. All right, so two one, then two two. We'll do both. The beach. This Formica Rufa wood ant queen has laid her first brood in a burrow near the sea. Her nest is just on the outskirts of the beach, the perfect vantage point for scavenging hapless morsels washed in by the tide. At the moment, the tide is out, but it won't stay that way. The ants must make haste and stockpile what they can, while they can. Bye, Rebecca. All right, so we got some food there. Let's assign these ants to group seven and get some food going right away. There we go. Group one. All right, food stores are nice and full. Let's go ahead and get some more food down. Food tiles so we can store them. All right, let's go with... Um, actually, let me move the chat up a bit. There we go. Melee nursery tile. Formica Rufa. Alright, I guess we'll put them down. We'll put the first group down over here. How many live streams am I going to have? I have no idea. Depends on how I'm feeling. I try to do two a week, but I've already done two today, so I don't know. We'll see. All right, we need more food for sure. Uh, looking around. All right, let's clear this pheromone. And let's go ahead and dig this out. Do surrounded. We'll see. It depends on how many people are in the stream when I get there. There is food to be found all over the beach, but the wood ants must be cautious and choose their trails carefully. Tiger beetles frequent the higher ground, and they will make quick work of any wood ant that strays too close. Don't strain my body with too many streams. Well, I'm going to be sitting down playing the computer anyway, so I might as well stream, you know. Might as well make a little bit of money while I'm at it and show off content. 
one more stream? I will see. Depends. All right, let's get more of these down. This colony must remain small for now. Food is too scarce to support greater numbers. Hi, Diamond. How are you? All right, let's get this food down here. A five minute break in between. No problem. Trust me, I, I'm not gonna be pushing myself that hard. I did a, I mean, I did a live stream earlier and I, what, it was like a half an hour to an hour that I took a break, so I'm good. And after this, no more live streams. That's the first time I've ever heard someone say not to do any more live streams. Usually they want me to do like 15 live streams a day somehow. All 24 hours long. Oh, well, happy birthday. All right, definitely need some more food. All right, let's grab this food down here. The colony is starving. There's not enough food to feed the new brood. All right, how about that? We'll bring the workers too. There are other wood ants out here. They have also come to take advantage of the buffet provided by the sea. Territorial disputes will invariably favor the colony with the greater numbers. Well, I save my live streams on YouTube, so if you can't watch mine right now, like as they're happening, you can always watch them later. The ants must fight. Hi, Cash. How are you? Everyone has birthdays or something. I'm sure the weather's kind of nice down there, huh? These are resilient ants here. Jeez, there we go. All right, let's grab some more food while we can. Uh, get some of that food. All right, is there any food in here that I could use? Eh, not really. I'd have to dig this stuff out. All right, food stores are full. Let's go ahead and the grab... The tide is coming in. Soon the lower levels of the beach will be flooded. Two. Any ants caught in the surge will be washed out to sea. All right, these are our... I call them spitter ants, but they're not spitter ants. They're wood ants. All right, the tide's going to be rising here, so we want to stay away from this bottom level. Oh, there it goes. I'm going to try and get as much food from here as I can. Alright, I don't see any hostels here. Four fifteen, huh?
tides the rising again. Rising quickly. The ants must head for higher ground. Yeah, get out of there, guys. What are you doing? They're fight they're too busy fighting. Uh all right, let's clear pheromone marker one. And with this group, let's let's team up and maybe try and get some food from up here. It's gonna be it's gonna be close though. There's a lot of tiger beetles roaming around. All right, maybe we can grab some food real quick. There we go. Before the tiger beetles show up. There we go. We got some. Oh, oh, they're coming. They're coming. Rod. Okay, yeah, back off. Back off. Um, I don't think we dare try that one. Actually, food stores are full. Let's back off. Um, let's let's dig this out and get more food stores. Because I want to have a lot of food for the... The tide has almost reached its highest point. The sands east of the nest are about to be completely flooded. We're going to be attacked at night, so I want to make sure that we've got enough food to replace any ants that might die. Tide is in, and soon night will fall. All right, let's, As let's the regroup here. Outside, nocturnal creatures begin to awaken. It would be wise for the Rufa colony to stay underground and hope that their nest remains hidden until the morning. I don't know if I have that game, Faith. I don't know if this is a new update or not. I think some things got patched, but I don't think it's like brand spanking. I don't think there's a whole bunch of new content. Overground, nocturnal hermit crabs rule over the sands at night. These creatures are typically scavengers, searching for algae and dead creatures on the beach. But due to the unusual incursion of Formica rufa colonies into this area, this particular community of crabs has developed a taste for ant flesh. Ori in the blind forest is free. I thought it pay. I thought you needed money for that. A hermit crab has found its way into the nest. The ants must mount a swift and decisive defense. I don't know what civilian is. I have played World of Warcraft. Crabs can take a beating. Finally. Food's looking good. We're at 111 right now. Let's see if there's anything else coming in. Some crabs on the surface. Lots of crabs on the surface. Oh, we might have some company here pretty soon.
Yep, more acid ants are on the menu. Here they come. I'm trying to keep a reserve of food so I can keep spawning more ants as they die off. A group of hermit crabs have stormed the nest. The larvae must be protected. Alright, the one's almost down. Um, you can through Super Chat. However, Patreon's the better way to do it. Patreon um, takes less money from me. Like, YouTube takes 30%, I think, of whatever you do through Super Chat. But if you do it through Patreon, I can get your email address, and then I can send you keys every month. I send, I usually send keys to all of my active subscribers. It's up to you, really, but if you're looking for, you know, a shout out video and maybe some free keys, Patreon's the way to go. That's just my suggestion. Yep, I'll get more acid ants pretty soon here. I'm waiting for these uh, to die off. I need some extra food if I'm going to keep spawning reinforcements. He's almost dead anyway. There we go. And hopefully that's the last of them. Oh, we got more company. More hermit crabs have found the nest. That's a lot of hermit crabs. That's all right. That's why we've got a lot of food in reserve. We need a lot of food if we're going to reinforce these guys here. I don't want to upgrade these right now because if we happen to lose these ants here, we want our workers to be free in order to put more larvae things down. All right, one's almost down. Wolf spiders. That sounds fun. Everyone loves wolf spiders. Um, I don't think there are fire ants in this game yet, and I don't know if they're planning on introducing them or not. Yeah, they do jump, that's for sure. See all the food that we're using to fend, the, fend off these crabs? That's all right, though. We're, we almost got the second one down, and the, the other one's about halfway dead. That's all right. We're holding out. That's why I saved some food. All right, another one down. The tide is receding, and a new day dawns. The hunters of the night return to the safety of the shadows, and the ants can begin to lay down new trails. The harvest must go on. I don't think, uh, no, the, those, I don't think there's any of those ants, Diamond. At least I don't think so. Okay, so we got all of that food. Great. Let's replenish our stock, and then we'll go out and get some more food on the beach. All right, let's send these guys to the bottom of the beach because this is the first place it's going to get overrun by water.
Acid can be expensive, though, the, the, the wood ants. I like having tanky ants, ones that can actually take damage while the uh, spitters do their thing or the acid ants do their thing. That should help out a little bit. Bringing back some more food. Well, right now, we usually have the Formica Rufa, which is the wood ant worker. The Formica Rufa wood ant nurse... Oh, yeah. The wood ant one, which is the spitter, the acid spitter. And then the Formica Rufa wood ant, the melee one. So there's a melee, there's a spitter slash like acid spitting one, the battle has begun. and then there's a worker. But there's more ant types in the game that will come up against you. All right, let's grab these down here. Oh, under attack. Yeah, they must be. Yeah, they, I think they're shrimp or carcasses or ant carcasses or something. Insect carcasses. Alright, so far so good. I guess we'll go for some more of these wood ants. I'm not a fan of seafood, although I do like salmon, but it has to be cooked. Taliapa, or tal tal ta how do you pronounce that? Talapa, is it? Yeah. Salmon, tilapia. <laughs> I'll say it how I want to say it. Cod. Tuna. Tuna. Ugh, tuna. Ugh. Are there tarantulas? Uh, I don't know if there's tarantulas. I know there's wolf spiders. Hi, Sean. Yeah, I'm going to play 2.2 as well. All right, see you, Vincent. Yeah, ants are cool. I don't own any, but it'd be cool. it'd be nice to actually own some someday, just to see how they act, observe their behavior. I guess we'll dig this out while we can. Um, let's get these guys up here. Get this food. March of the ants. Here they come. Yeah, I've seen his stuff. He's a little dramatic, though, for me. He's too... His stuff can be a little over the top. Although he is very informative. It's too dramatic. <laughs> I'm not saying he's a, he has a bad chant or anything. I just, I, it's hard for me to watch him sometimes because of that. Oops, wrong button. 
put the wrong one down there. All right, let's do the spitter ones, the wood ants. There we go. That's the right one. This colony must remain small for now. Food is too scarce to support greater numbers. Really? A queen that's boring, huh? All right, let's grab some of the food on the second level of the beach here. Pretty soon we're going to want to dig some of this out and get some of the food down here, I think. All right, let's get a small group of soldiers, maybe to handle the stuff on the inside. Tide's rising soon. The tide is coming in. Soon the lower levels of the beach will be flooded. Any ants caught in the surge will be washed out to sea. There we go. We're going to want to get off this beach as soon as possible. This water is going to rise again pretty soon. It's a fight to the death over here. I can't tell who's who. All right, let's. Uh, I think there might be. Yeah, there's nasties down there. All right, let's move up to this part of the beach, grab some of this food. Yep, tide's rising pretty soon anyway. The water is rising quickly. The ants must head for higher ground. Yep, I'm growing my army, don't worry. I got time. Wouldn't mind a few more worker ants, too. Without workers, we can't lay eggs and stuff. And move, move the pupae around and all that jazz. Hi, Tiger Claws. How are you? Yeah, looks like we're done with that. Um, let's... Let's get some of this, as much as we can before these tiger beetles catch wind of it. Alright, that's good. Let's get back up here. Let's get underground and maybe dig out some of this stuff and get food this way. The tide has almost reached its highest point. The sands east of the nest are about to be completely flooded. There are there is fish in this game, but it's hard to get to on the current level that it's on. There is another creature roaming the sands tonight. Arctosa littoralis, the beach wolf spider. The beach In the wolf day, these spider. spiders retreat to the shade provided by larger plants on the edge of the beach. But once the sun is gone, they are far more active. All right. On the hunt for a midnight Let's get back feast. to the queen, protect it. 
We'll send a smaller group down here to get the food. So we can continue growing our army. Yeah, there's a little bit of food there. That'll help us out a little bit. A wolf spider has found the nest entrance. Uh-oh, here it comes. She's only small, but her venom will quickly incapacitate any ant that tries to fight her. Aw, the little spider has a hat on. Do you want me to keep the hats on or take it off? I think that's the arachnophobia mode. Dead spider. Keep them on. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and upgrade my food tiles real quick so we can store more food. There we go. Keep the hat on, okay. All right, wood ant there, wood ant there, wood ant there. And it looks like we almost got all the food from down here. We're going to have to dig out another tunnel pretty soon here. There's one right here we can get some food from this, this side. All right, here they come. Predators are loose in the nest. The larvae must be protected. That's all right. We got we got our second group here. No problem. Yeah, I like the little tones it makes when you upgrade. All right, got that. More food coming. Oh, we got another spider. Another wolf spider has entered the nest. This one is large, fast, and voracious. All right, go get him. That's a lot of acid. Spider down, spider down. Okay, let's upgrade and put more tiles down. There this colony must remain small for now. Food is too scarce to support greater numbers. I'm not eating a queen. I don't know what you're talking about. Those hats are pretty awesome. I agree. All right. Did we get all the food from down here? Looks like it. Okay. Let's get group four back up here. And we'll dig out some more tunnels for food. Dig all this out. I think that's a smiley face. I could be wrong. Here they come. Let's get group four over here. There are intruders in the nest. Oh, we're okay. We're good. I don't think I'm eating a queen ant. I'm protecting the queen ant. More wolf spiders have found. Uh oh, wolf spiders. That's right, it's a little one. It's just a little one. Spider down. 
Okay, um, let's upgrade tiles. Upgrade these ones here. The workers have done all they can to prepare this brood chamber. Wow, we cleaned that place out pretty quickly. All right, group four can come back down here and we'll dig out some other, yeah, over here. Oh, I think that was just another, another one of those bugs. Yeah, there's only 30 left. This isn't a queen. I think that was one of the, that was like the third bug. One was dead, the other two were alive. There are intruders in the nest. More food. I'll take it. I'm going to get some more workers just to be on the safe side. Make sure we've got enough to handle all the stuff around the nest. That gives us about 20, 21 workers, something like that. Wow, we cleaned that out too. That was quick. All right, let's we'll come up here. As the sun group. rises over a new day, the tide recedes. The nocturnal creatures return to the shadows, and once again, the harvest must continue. All right, now the sun is, or, well, yeah, the sun's out, the beach is back to where it needs to be. Let's get this food on the, on the bottom edge here real quick before we run into any more problems. And food-wise, let's just continue upgrading these food tiles if we can. There are intruders in the nest. Oh, there's... Okay. Yeah, we can handle that. No biggie. How we doing on the beach? There we go. Just arrived. Alright, got all those. Let's get these down here. And I suppose we'll go ahead and add some more to this group. And maybe a couple to this group. Alright, still getting food from that. There's a little bit of food down here. Not a whole lot, though. We cleaned this uh, beach out pretty quickly. That's good. We're going to need lots more food if we're going to survive the final assault. Is that a spider? I think that's a spider. I think it's stuck. <laughs> that poor spider. Alright, see a diamond. Okay, food stores are full again. I guess we'll just continue adding to what we have. 
Um, let's see. There we go. <laughs> Is it, yeah, it's normal where I'm sure where he's from. It's a delicacy, I guess. Okie doke. All right, let's let's switch to this here. Actually, no, there's let's go here. All right, group four, I think, is done getting all that food. So we're going to send it back out onto the beach. And grab some of that food. Hi, Casey. How are you? All right, how are we doing here? Everything looks good. All right, let's keep the ants coming. There we go. That's good. This colony must remain small for now. Food is too scarce to support greater numbers. Uh oh. We attracted the, the attention of a tiger by beetle. Chindala dorsalis, the beach tiger beetle. With its long slender legs, it's the king of speed on these intertidal flats. Its wide carving jaws will slice effortlessly through squads of wood ants. It's going to take a monumental unified effort to bring this beast down. I think we took that beast down. We took two of them down. All right, how are we doing here? We're good. Let's go ahead and come up here and grab this food. There they come. Swarm, my little insects. Swarm. And those tiger beetles were surprisingly easy. Then again, I think those are the small ones. Grab that food. The tide is coming in. Uh -oh. Soon the lower levels of the beach will be flooded. Any ants caught in the surge will be washed out to sea. Alright, so about 15 seconds, this entire section will be flooded. This one will be next. We've got a little bit of time before that happens, though. All right, food storage is full again. Let's let's do something about that.
All right, that tide is going to rise here pretty soon. I'm going to I'm going to fall back to the highest level. We'll go after these tiger beetles, I think. We'll, we'll take the fight to them this time. The water is rising quickly. The ants must head for higher ground. Yeah, we're going to back off. All right, ants. Come on. There's a bunch. Come on, get out of there. 12 seconds. Oh, no, they're not going to make it. My poor ants. My poor ants. Run! No! Oh, my ants. Oh, that's alright. We'll spawn more. Alright, let's grab some of that food. Let's get some of this food. We don't want to hang out on this level for too long either. Well, that's a big one. Uh-oh. Tiger beetles. Welcome back. Tiger beetle down. Tiger beetle down. Okay. Um, oh, tide's rising yet again. The tide has almost reached its highest point. Get out the of there. The sands east of the nest are about to be completely flooded. Yeah. Retreat. 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 All right. I'm going to upgrade uh, some tiles. There we go. Alright, so I wonder what this night's gonna bring. I think this is the last wave here. Alright, let's go underground. The tide is in. Protect and the soon queen. Night will fall. As the temperature drops outside, nocturnal creatures begin to awaken. It would be wise for the Rufa colony to stay underground uh -huh. and hope that their nest remains hidden until the morning. Yeah, we're gonna protect the queen. Of course, the nest is not going to remain hidden. It never, it never does. It never does. Alright, looks like the crabs are starting to spawn. A wolf spider has found the nest. Uh oh. Wolf spiders. With their top hats, of course. Courtesy of arachnophobia mode. It's always found. Something's up with these spitters. They're not shooting as quickly as they could. That's weird. Against spiders, for whatever reason, they don't fire as quickly. Alright, let's go ahead and take this food. That's a big one. That tap, 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 tap that they do really freaks me out. All right, see you, Alex. 
Oh, these spiders down here are freaking out. They're doing some sort of mating dance, I think. Oh, the chirping that they're making. I can I can turn off the arachnophobia mode, I think, temporarily. Just so you can see what they look like. The ants must protect the queen. Oh, there we go. Here they come. Whoa, those are big ones. Hang in there, queen. Hang in there. More hermit crabs have found the nest. Well, the spiders were taken care of pretty quickly. I need to redo the chat. It's messing up on me here. There we go. Those death throws, though. That's more food for me. Let's upgrade these real quick. Plenty of food now. Whoa! That came out of nowhere. A huge wolf spider has found the colony. This one is a mother, and her recently hatched brood have followed her into the nest. These ants are facing an overwhelming infestation. Oh. I think we got him. The queen is safe once again. I don't think we're going to be seeing any more. Hopefully. A lot of food that we got stored there. Yeah, I think this is it. I don't think there's any more coming. <laughs> I think we're eating it. Red lobster tonight. Look at all that crab. Well, the tiger beetles are still around. We could always pick on them for a bit. Hi, TM. How are you? Oh, that's it. Awesome. As the ants grow in number, the local predators pose less and less of a danger. Eventually, they will be displaced from this area entirely. Despite the dangers of the beach, it seems this intrepid queen's gamble to establish her colony here has ultimately secured her success. Um, let's take... Let's 
do the extra royal jelly. Alright. Um, I guess we'll just end level. We could have kept playing. And I actually did that in the previous live stream. It was actually pretty fun. It's possible I could have. How is the colony progressing? The queen is exhibiting interesting new behaviors. I believe the colony is beginning to adapt. All right, so we've got stuff on the cert. Yeah, this is our formicarium here. Nothing too fancy. We got some food scattered about. These are the levels that we've completed previously that we've just never collected food for. All right, uh, we'll do that other level that we were talking about. I did promise another level. All right, so it was 2-2, Queen of the Hill. And Rapid Fire. I like those. Thanks, Casey. Appreciate it. Yep, I did a live stream earlier. A number of small Formica, Rufa, and Fusca colonies have established themselves on this beach. Those nearest to the water's edge have enjoyed the first pick of the washed-up seafood for the past few days. However, as the sun and moon near alignment and the first spring tide of the month approaches, high tide draws nearer to these intrepid ants. Seemingly aware of their circumstances, these colonies are preparing to relocate to higher ground. There is only one way up the bank, and the route is currently occupied by a small roofer colony. These defenders will have to hold their ground against the oncoming siege. It will be three days before the high tide washes away the competition. If the colony survives, it will inherit the beach. But this won't be an easy fight. Of course not. It's never an easy fight. Oh yeah, the food. I keep forgetting about that. The food behind the entrance. Alright, let's get, um... Yeah, let's get some ants going real quick here. Uh, is there any bad guys back there? I don't think there is, but just in case. Alright. Let's go up to the surface and get some of these real quick. Get some of this food. Oh, thanks for subbing. Appreciate it. Thanks, Victor. Although the nests nearer the water have better access to the food washed up by the sea, this roofer colony need not starve. The plant life growing nearby is home to herds of grey aphids. As they feed on plant sap, these tiny insects excrete droplets of honeydew, which the wood ants find irresistible. They need only protect the aphids from danger to receive a constant supply of sugary liquid. Doing so is not always simple, however. Hungry ladybird beetles know exactly where the aphids like to graze. They can strip an unguarded stem bare in a mere matter of minutes. The ants will need to keep a close watch over their flock. Oh, thanks. Appreciate it. The fish do give food, but trying to get to them is very difficult. Because, I mean, as you can see, the enemy ants here have a lot of numbers, so trying to get to them, very difficult. I've done it before, though, in a previous stream. I don't remember which one, but I did do it. But it was after I got more numbers. That's a lot of food, but that, that water does rise, so um, they won't have access to all that food for very long. Oops. Should be a little bit of room for right now.
Guess we'll dig this out while we're waiting. Yeah, you couldn't see the outline there. I asked the developers about this level, and apparently there is an underground section for them. Like, you can't see it, but the enemy does have a colony like I do. And in future patches, like, I was in on one of their live streams, their dev live streams, and they were explaining that, you know, they do have their own colonies. And in future patches, you'll be able to go inside nests and try and take them out. But that's in a future patch. You can't do it in this one. Oh, thanks, Casey. I don't think I'm the best at this, honestly. There's a lot of other people that can play this on insane difficulty and beat it. And I'm not, I'm not, I'm nowhere near that. Oh, there's tiger beetles back here. All right, let's have the workers come up here and, and take that food. Oh, thanks. Well, I mean, it's that's the nice thing about this game. You can play it on, like, an easier mode and still have fun. And that that's perfectly cool. I mean, I, I'm a, I'm a firm believer of play it on any difficulty that you want to. I don't care if it makes you look like a noob. I don't care. Whatever. You're not. You're just having fun. Everyone plays at their own pace, you know? So play it on whatever difficulty makes you happy and don't let anyone put you down for it. That's my viewpoint anyway. Just have fun. Right, more food coming in. That's good. A party of Formica Fusca black ants are heading inland. Uh oh. The high ground roofer colony must defend their territory. All right. We will do that. There they come. The red square on the map. Um. On the, the ants above ground. Must defend themselves. Or the underground. Alright, took care of that. Red squares are usually larger insects or creatures. So like wolf spiders or larger insects, something like that. They'll show up as big red squares. Yeah, I like farm games too. Um, I have a lot of like farm games on my phone, my iPhone that I play. I played Farmville when I was younger, when it was on Facebook. Oh, wrong one. Didn't want to put that down there. I, I, I played a lot of Farmville and... The roofer colony on the low ground are sending troops uh -oh. to clear a path for their queen. The high ground colony must keep them at bay. Yep, yeah, I like Subnautica too. I mean, there is some violence in that because things can kill you, but um, it's still fun. But yeah, Facebook had a lot of good farming games, and I like the farming games where you can actually visit other people's farms and do work for them and, and, get, and get money for it. That was fun. I like the resource chain games too where, you know, this factory produces this, and then using that... that good you can throw it into this factory to make this good so it's like one big resource chain i like those kind of games those economic economic games the lower ground colonies have relented their siege for now night approaches and with it it brings a host of nocturnal predators out onto the beach. The high ground ants could go underground to wait out the night, 
but they would have to leave their precious aphids unguarded. It is a difficult choice for this colony. Face the peril out in the open, or hide away and risk losing their only reliable source of food. Alright, see ya, Victor. Yeah, it's been a while since I've played Minecraft. I, I actually have it for the Xbox 360, and my, my save is on there. I don't really play it on the computer as much. But I would play it again on the computer only because the PC seems to have a later patch and more content than the Xbox 360 version does. Like, there's more stuff. Alright, I'm gonna dig this out. Hi, Layden. Is that how you pronounce it? Alright, so we're gonna have a group there for group four. Group four is gonna head to the left here. Once we have enough numbers. Right now we don't. Hi, Princess Maya. How are you? Oh, no, wait. Back up, back up. We're not going to be able to beat that thing. I said back up! What are you doing, you stupid ants? Alright, let's come over here and get that. We just don't have the numbers yet for this group four. I've seen some content, though, in the Xbox 360, or on the uh, PC version. Like, I think rabbits and some other things that weren't in the Xbox version. I don't know why the patches are behind like that on the Xbox version, but I think it's more expensive to update it on consoles than it is on the PC. I could be wrong. Alright, let's grab a wood ant tile and another melee. I don't think I have piano tiles. Alright, see you, Vincent. Have fun. I guess we got all the food over here. Right, let's switch gears. Come over here. Let's see if we can get the some of this food. Is starving. There's not enough food to feed the new brood. Oh, cool. They must have added it then. It's been a while since I've played Minecraft on um, the Xbox version. Oh, there's some more food for us. Some crunchy bugs. A phone game. Oh, okay. I think... I think, um... You know her as Nev, but I think Ida Lee played piano tiles. <laughs> That's my girlfriend. She's played that. Alright, see ya, Casey. Have fun. Okay... Melee, melee. You have a pet rabbit. On Minecraft. Oh, okay. There we go. We've got one group that can go to the left. And one group that can go to the right. And we can get food from both sides that way. I know you did. <laughs> you fell asleep. <laughs> Are you serious? <laughs> I'd be mad too. I heard you go, Whoa!
You're fine. You're tired. Why don't you go to bed? I can't. Okay. <laughs> I'll get it. Are they ready? Yeah, the dryer went off. Hi, Arden. How are you? We may want to consider going, well, actually... Dawn breaks. Yeah. And the battle for the high ground will soon continue. I was going to get some the more food underground, but... defended their aphid flocks well. Succeeding in securing vital food supplies to see them through the oncoming onslaught. All right, we need food. All right, um, let's go ahead and bring one of the groups back underground and we'll dig out some of this food here. Um, I thought they did. There we go. That's what I need. I need more food, more food, more food. The Fusca uh, colony is sending a wave of warriors to clear a path for their queen. Um, okay. Which direction? This direction. All right. Let's go ahead and add some more... Ants to our colony here. Wrong one again. I keep doing that. Alright, so we got all that food. Let's go ahead and keep digging, try and get some more of this food. Looks like we fended these guys off. Let's bring group four over here, get some of this food, while group five remains underground to get more of this food. New ant. Yeah, they're going to be, I mean, there's going to be a future patch that's going to introduce a new ant. I think it's the leaf ant. I could be wrong. I'm not sure exactly what it does. I heard somewhere that it might heal, the but I don't know. The Rufa sending another assault. Uh -oh. They are desperate to reach higher ground. Hang in there. We may need to bring our other group over to help out. Yeah, let's do that. And let's continue, let's get some acid ants here. There we go. That should help out a little bit. What's your goal right now? Basically to hold the line. Um, in this level, ants from two different colonies are going to constantly attack us. This group over here and this group over here will send ants to attack us all the time. And we have to hold our ground and be queen of the hill, as the name of the level implies. Yeah, there are other ant colonies. You can't see More them. black ants are emerging from the Fusca nest. Yeah, here they come. So basically, yeah, we just have to hold the ground. Hold, hold the line. This will flood down here eventually, so they're going to be attacking us trying to get this higher ground. Uh, on the left-hand side, it says three days. On the upper left-hand corner, there's a little objective section. All right, let's keep spawning ants. We're going to need them. Oh, wrong ones again. No, no. Ugh. I always get them confused. All right, it's these that I want. I'm thinking of spawning a third... A third group. 
mainly for underground, but yeah, let's dig this out. Let's get some more room. I'm a little squished in here. Leaf cutter, there you go. Or like melee ants, so that's cool. More soldiers are emerging from the roof of nest. Alright, more food, please. Oh, incoming. Alright, we're good. Let's get that third group. How many days do I have to survive? Um, three, I believe. On the upper left hand corner, it says objectives, and then it says survive days. Now it's two. It just switched over. All right, let's get a third group of wood ants. That's spit. There we go. And we'll assign these guys to group three. And I'm not sure what they're going to do night yet. Falls, oh, and night's a temporary falling. truce emerges between the warring colonies. Once let's again, get this the food up here. Wood ants must make a choice. Do they defend the aphids, or will they hide? Resting their forces until the morning. I'm going to keep gra uh, grabbing food on the surface here. Group 3 can, I think, defend the colony for a bit. Oh, we're full up on food again. Let's go ahead and expand our food. I'm going to... Maybe work our way over here with them. Yeah. The jawbreaker ant. It sounds deadly. The workers have done all they can to prepare this brood chamber. There we go. We've got 1,300, 1,500 storage now. I think we're good. Sixteen hundred food storage. All right, how we doing here? Oh, we're holding our ground just fine. No problems that I can see. Yeah, there's definitely some scorpions. Well, whatever they're called. I think they're like beetles. Tiger beetles, I think they're called. Oh, no, not the tiger beetles. The, um... Yeah, their name escapes me right now. These things spray some sort of confusing gas. But we can take them down if we have enough numbers. Let's go ahead and get group three over here to get some of this food.
There we go. We can handle that. No big deal. Go ahead and maybe dig this out a little bit more so we can expand these colonies further or these little these little groups if you will all right group three i'm going to assign here so we can dig down to the left in safety as you can see there's a little enemy there comes. More food for us, that's fine. Yeah, look at all those corpses. Let's go ahead and, and improve our numbers even further here. Um, group three, I'm going to make larger. And actually, just make them all larger. Why not? Hi, Crazy. How are you? Oh, the stream's okay. It's Friday night, so I'm just unwinding a bit. I'm going to grab some more workers real quick here. That way we can keep up with the demand. Dawn that's... breaks. Oh, dawn. And the okay. battle for the high ground will soon continue. The high ground colony defended their aphid flocks well, succeeding in securing vital food supplies to see them through the oncoming onslaught. Pretty soon we're going to get attacked again by both of these ant colonies. Um... The stream's been going for about an hour and a half or so, maybe a little bit less. This is going to be the last, um, the last mission that I'll be doing. There's a few other games I want to get to and record content for. Hi, Aiden. How are you? All right, group three cleared that out pretty quick. Let's go ahead and dig this out further. More black ants are emerging from the Fusca nest. Uh-oh. All right, let's go into defense mode here. There they come. Oh, thanks, Aiden. food. Looks like group three took out this whatever it was over here. Let's grab that food real quick. Let's continue expanding our numbers. One there, a couple there. One or two there, one or two here. More soldiers are emerging from the roof of nest.
some nasty ants there. Okay, let's get the food. And it looks like... Oh, yeah, the fish is underwater there. Yeah, if you want to see me actually get some of that fish, go... I, I don't remember what other stream it was, but I, I... I did this level on a previous stream, and I brought ants down here, and I got this fish. It was difficult, because I was under constant assault, but... It was on an easier difficulty mode. Alright, so 30 over here, 33 over here. Underground, okay, so we've got 20 there. Um... Let's bring... Both lower ground colonies are now sending out uh -oh. armies at the same time. Time to reinforce. We might have to bring up group three real quick, just to help out. We'll see. Well, yeah, in this level, the water keeps rising. The water starts down here. Just like the beach level, the water keeps rising uh, every passing night until this entire ground is covered. That's why the ants are fighting to get to where I am, because they know they're going to be flooded soon. I guess they have tele you know, telepathic ability or something. Foresight, whatever you want to call it. But yeah, uh, the water keeps rising. If you can get to the fish before the water rises, then it's possible to mine it. Or, not to mine it, but to gather it. Unfortunately, I can't get the fish because it's underwater. You'd have to get the fish around, like, day Black one. Black ants and wood ants are heading from their nests like to the high ground. The battle has begun. Alright, we're good there. Let's continue digging this out, get this food. The ants on the surface are kind of busy, so group three has to do some of the heavy lifting here with the food. That's alright, if you check out one of my previous streams, you'll see me get the fish. Alright, food, here we come. Yum, yum, yum. And it looks like we held our ground here just fine. Continue grabbing this food. Looks like night's falling pretty soon here. I try, Faith. Thank you. Yeah, I like the water effects too. Yep, there goes the water again. Night falls, and a temporary truce emerges between the warring colonies. Once again, the high ground wood ants must make a choice. Do they defend the aphids, or will they hide, resting their forces until the morning? Alright, group three got all of the food there. Um, we're going to bring group three back over here and dig this out. So we can get to this food here. Oh, incoming. There we go. We're good. We got enough. Well, I definitely need the food for the, the final battle. I've got a lot of numbers, so I'm not too worried about that. But the, in the final battle, he's going to be send. Well, both colonies will send everything they have at me. And I think they've got wolf spiders. Yeah, there's wolf spiders over there. Nasty. I don't remember if they send any my way, but if they do, we're going to be... A I'm going to have to maybe have group 3 defend the queen for a little bit. 
All right, so group three got all the food there. We'll send it to defend the queen. Um, we could dig the rest of this out if we really wanted to. Yep. Oh, those guys are easy. All right, see you, Layton. All right, more food for me. On the surface, we're doing okay. Ooh. What's going on over there? I wonder if he's stuck. That could be it. I've never seen that before. I've said it before, but just as a reminder, this game is still early access. So, uh, this is not the final version that you're seeing here. They're still developing the game. Alright, we'll just put another few... Spitter ants over here, because why not? I'll assign them to group, uh, group three, I guess. Let's put them together. All right, group three. Let's dig the rest of this out, and we'll be done. Group three can join the fight on the surface, or defend the queen, one of the two. Looks like we got our food storage full here. Let's see if we can upgrade it again. The workers have done all they can to prepare this brood chamber. What's happening? That was just upgrading tiles, that's all. Nothing, nothing to worry about. On the surface, we're getting food. Underground, we're digging out tiles to get food. I think we got most of it. There's a little section over here that we didn't dig out, but I'm, I don't think we need the food right now. I'm going to put down a few more worker ants. There we go. Looks like they're fighting for their life up here. Daylight looks like it's approaching, so we need to get the last of this food while we can. He's going to send out all of his armies pretty soon, because this water is going to rise and flood everything down here. Alright, let's grab as much food as possible. They're hungry little ants. Hungry, hungry, hungry. Oh, that crab's not going anywhere. 
It looks like they're working together too, which is interesting. A large black ant force has been sent from the Fusca nest. All right. Let's um let's get group 4 back here, group 5 back here. Group 3, I want to protect the entrance and the nest. The queen, yeah, cuz the queen is basically right next to this, so we'll be okay. And our food stores are actually full right now, which is good. So, we should be all right. All right, let's check the surface, make sure we're okay. All right, we're safe there. We're good over there. And it looks like they're grabbing this food over here. That's my food. You can't have it. They're running out of options. There's nothing for them down here. See, they're trying to get to this food. They can't now. It's all underwater. Pretty soon they're going to be attacking me. More wood ants are heading toward the high ground colony. Here they come. The queen hasn't come yet, but they will soon. Alright, food stores are full yet again. That's alright, we have group 3 underground protecting the queen. Even if a few get by, we'll be okay. Alright, let's add um, some there. There we go, some there. We've got 40 ants protecting the queen. That's, that's nothing to worry about. Hi, Chill. How are you? Well, we'll see. Sometimes the ants surprise me, but we'll be okay, I think. My, my strategy is to basically bundle all of my, for uh, all of my forces at this entrance here. And they cannot get past it. There's no way Both they can. Both lower ground colonies are now come. sending out armies at the same time. All right, let's back up here. Guard this entrance because they're going to be they're going to be swarming this pretty soon. Here they come. That's right. Yeah, we're going to meet them head on right at the entrance. No need to be sorry, really. It's just a game. Nothing nothing to worry about. As soon as they walk into my uh, into my colony base here, they get destroyed. Alright. We'll send group four and group five back out here to get more food. Pretty soon, though, they're going to be attacking. Probably. Oh, here comes some more. I think this is it. The day is almost over. Yep, this is it. The low ground is already starting to flood. There they come. The low ground nests are emptying completely, and the ants are rushing up the bank. This is their final assault. All right, let's, let's hold the line. Hold the line. We got this. There's one queen in the back there. Oh, that wasn't hard at all. Those queens didn't stand a chance. Rest in peace, queens. Yep, now they're all flooded out down here. Alright, 
Um, let's go ahead and send these guys back up to the surface. I mean, it's the, the level's over. Yeah, there it goes. The wood ants upon the hill have finally defeated their would-be successors. Tomorrow their empire will expand to the undefended intertidal flats below, commanding both the aphid farms and the bounty of the sea. This colony will rise to become an undeniable power in the undergrowth. Victory! Uh, we'll choose, um... I guess we'll do some extra royal jelly. Alright, back to the formicarium. How is the colony progressing? The queen is exhibiting interesting new behaviors. I believe the colony is beginning to adapt. All right, folks, so I'm going to go ahead and put a cut in the uh, stream here. If you guys want to see more of this game, uh, let me know. The best way to do it, though, I, I have to see a lot of views. What I do is I take a look at all my videos, and the ones that get the most views are the ones that I usually cover more often. So uh, spread the word, share the video with your friends if you like it. If you guys haven't already, subscribe to my channel and check out my official website, www.dadsgamingaddiction.com. This is Vince, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time. Take care.